guys, today I have a little bit of a project here I wanted to show you. Um, I got some fun stuff in my package over the weekend and um, I wanted to show you something that I am so looking forward to using on my Christmas cards. Um, let me show you a few of the stamp sets that I got. Um, this was in my last haul that I had that I placed um, probably about like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Um, but I got the stamp set uh, St. Nick. This is currently in our catalog and you can get it now. And it's uh, B1356. Um, I noticed you can't really see it inside the package so I'll take it out. Um, and I used our archival ink on my Santa so I had to take that off so you can see it. There's a nice old-fashioned Santa and an ornament and it says Merry Christmas and you got your holly and your present. So the stamp set I'm using or the stamp I'm using is a Santa Claus. So I wanted to show you that. Um, see this is our archival ink so it makes my stamp sets or stamps um, black but it's I like it better than our normal black because it's uh, what it's not this is not water based and um, so that's what I use a lot on my when I need to use black so when I use my heat gun and stuff like that or my water pencils or any kind of blending stuff or even my um, embossing I use that if I need to okay and then the other one that I'm using today on this project is snowflakes which is D1480 and um, you can probably see that one yeah so there's a large snowflake here and a couple small ones and this is winter wonderland and it says each snowflake has okay so each snowflake that falls reminds me of you one of a kind and it says you melt my heart and it's got this nice little border with a solid one with an outline and this one here you can cut out on our Cricut cartridge which is uh, art philosophy and which is in our catalog as well um, so the stamp set that I'm using or the stamp I'm using is this small one here if you can see that there that's the one that I'm using today okay so and I'm also using our fun it's fuzzy fun flock sounds like I'm saying a bad word but it's fuzzy fun flock and it's from Stamp Anonymous and it's from close to my heart you can order it from close to my heart and it's called the it's cotton uh, cotton ball white so it's just nice it's it was almost like a fiber stuff so I'm using that and I'm using our liquid liquid applique um, it's in our catalog from close to my heart I'll put all the information for um, the items the item numbers on this on the bottom of uh, the information and I'm also going to be using my tweezers from close to my heart which is Z1382 um, just to keep from burning my fingers and making my nails melt because <laughs> I'm going to be using my heat gun so um, get this glare off a little bit okay so I've already stamped a few of the images that and I've also done a few uh, test runs already to show um, samples so this one down here This one down here is the uh, the fun flock with the liquid applique, and it has like a fuzzy fuzzy feel. And then this over here is another one that's with the fuzzy applique. And then here is just with the applique alone, no uh, fun flock on that, and it's just puffy. It's like puffy paint, basically. And then this is another one that has nothing on it except for the um, liquid applique. And then down here is this is the same one. It's, it's really, really fuzzy. My camera is not really giving a good show of it, but um, 
sure you guys can yeah there you go so you can see it now it's got like a feels like a fuzzy teddy bear and this is like a plastic rubbery pu like puffy paint that you buy at uh, Walmart or any craft store so I'm gonna do these two here that are not done yet and I'm gonna show you how to do that so this one I'm going to use the fun flock on and then this one I'm just gonna use the plain applique with nothing else okay so I'm gonna do that really quick here's my liquid applique Right. and I'm just gonna put it all over here all over his beard and his hair up on top and his little ball just rub it around and then over here I'm just gonna do the snowflake I did the snowflake and color so you can see it but if you wanted to just see the snowflake um, of the puffy paint you could probably just use um, like a bamboo color and you'll be able to see like the puffiness and stuff so um, I'm going to put a lot in the middle here so you can see it and spread it out Okay, so now I'm going to use my fun flock and get my close to my heart tray so I can put this. See if I've already used the fun flock here on my other samples. So I'm just going to drop it onto the Santa. And it's like grind up uh, cotton ball. Drop that on there. Okay. See, now you can see it's all shaded in there. This one's probably going to turn out a lot better because I used a lot on the beard and stuff. On here, I just, unlike this one, I just put a couple lines and stuff. This one's actually really filled in, so you'll be able to see it. So um, I'm going to play some music while I have my heat gun going, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, there we go. Now there is the Santa. I don't want to touch it right now because it's pretty hot right now. Yeah, so it's like a soft, fuzzy. Yeah, you can really see it in the camera now. See how it's nice and fuzzy looking. All right, and then the snowflake. 
just did like a puffy layer. So it's very pretty. I like it. I like how it's filled it in here. And it made it it puffed it up and then it also has the fun the fun flock on it. You can see the through see how it's three D. See the puffiness? And then that's the snowflake. Turned out really good. So that's my project for the day, guys. I just wanted to show it to you. I like it a lot. I can't wait to do a whole snowman in that. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good afternoon. Someone I used to see But she don't give a damn for